This game here is Inky and the Alien Aquarium, and I finally found it, which has been an ongoing, not joke, uh, but they sent me this game a while ago saying, hey, we have this new game coming out, we think you're going to love it, uh, Game Boy Advance, and I said, I'm all down, I love checking out new games for these uh, classic consoles, and I promptly lost it. I was like, I, it sounds familiar, I know I saw it, I'll look around and I couldn't find it at work, couldn't find it here, couldn't find it there. Finally looking for something I wasn't even looking for. It was in a box of stuff I brought home from work. Uh, because I get all my stuff sent to me to work. That's like my mailing address. And I was like, okay, cool. Here's this game. And then here's another thing and another thing. And I brought it home. And then other stuff got piled on top of it. And I was looking for it. And I was like, oh my god, here's this game. From Pocket Pulp. Inky and the Alien Aquarium. So uh, we're going to check it out today. Um, I will show you what this comes with. Link in the description if you want to grab your own. There's the game right there, Game Boy Advance, and it does have the uh, manual as well. I know I just saw it in here a second ago. Here we go, too. And it was nice of them, too, because they um, kind of just, you know, sent this my way, full-color manual, find out what's going on there. And they do other things, uh, Pocket Pulp does, which I thought was pretty cool. Here's a game called uh, Monsters D Dedux, Monsters D Do, the uh, pig pen puzzle. I mean, just, just some fun things, and, and thank you for this. Um, I've been looking forward to uh, checking this out here. Wait, 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 here we go. I'm gonna put that in there. And if you're like, wait a minute, I literally just saw the cartridge there. How are you able to play it? <laughs> well, that's uh, another story for another time. Okay, right. so we have start options, and uh, we can look at the credits. Do I know anyone here? Inky and the Alien, Alien Aquarium. Casey Dean and Sean Connolly. That's probably them there. Oh, fun! See, that's the best thing to do. Put yourself in the video. I mean, you made the game. Put yourself in the game. As you should. DBC, E9, Jeff Mandel. Okay. You always have to show props and thanks. Oh, and me, apparently. I didn't play this game. I'm, I'm, I'm playing it for the first time. How'd they know to put my name in there? <laughs> Thank you for taking time to play our game. I appreciate that. I'm playing it now. It took me a couple of months, but I'm playing it now. Um, that was one of the Kickstarter uh, uh, situations, or whatever that's called. That was one of the Kickstarter ideas, was to, um, was to uh, have your name in the credits, which was kind of cool. So let's uh, let's check this game out here. So this is uh, Inky. Let me look at a little box here while we go through the storyline. Inky and the Alien Aquarium. Inky the Flapjack Octopus has been abducted by aliens. The aliens have put Inky along with 15 other sea creatures on display in their aquarium. Being a clever octopus with an adherence to captivity, adherence to captivity, Inky immediately makes a break for it. To escape the aliens, uh, travel the mothership and all that. Interesting. So you play as a... a, a here, oh, here we are now. And uh, we're playing now. Okay, so screen by screen, or, um, ooh, that's fun. And uh, the A and B buttons don't do anything, shoulder buttons don't do anything yet. But we'll have a look here. So he have, oh, I know this puzzle. Like that, nice. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, are these pushable? Are they collectible? These are not, well, you, you cannot push them up, I guess, but you can push them to the side. Can I go through here? The answer is no, but I can do that, okay. Ooh, don't fall off the edges. And it turns into a walkway. I love it. I can't push that that way, but I can push this that way and this that way. Oh. And can I, I can't push it into the, the uh, garden, nor can I step onto the garden. Okay. Ah, there we go. And then this will bring me back to the beginning. Ha ha! All right. Little puzzle game. I love it already. Okay. So this guy goes here. This one I cannot push onto the uh, metal grating. Again, this is for uh, this is for Game Boy Advance. So I see what I'm supposed to do. Just got to find a way to get there. Can't push that there, and I can't go through that apparently. Hmm. If I had a thing I could push up, and if I leave the room and come back, things will be reset. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of what you want. For, okay, so with that there and this here, I can grab this because I, I need to use this as the uh, bridge. 
to go across. But I, it looks like there's just enough ability. Because I can walk on the grating, just I can't push this little metal orb on it like that. And then like that, if I wanted to go back. If I need to go back. Mmm. More stuff going on. So it looks like I'm going to have to... Oh, I see something up there. What is that? It looks cute, whatever it is. I keep, I keep doing it one by one. That's just easier for me. So... Because I need to push something up. And this is going to be my way across. Like that. And what do we got here? Can I collect it? I can. Uh, super cute. Love the animation. Cool. I found a star. Oh. Um, let's see here. There's a way I can do all of them. I mean, I don't need to do all of them. I just need to do that. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Hmm. I need to push one of the things uh, there. I want to grab. I want to grab that. That must be that yellow key card for the yellow door I saw back. Uh, back. Back the other way. So it does involve coming back to where you once were. Oh, it involved. I can go in that door there too. I see. No, I can't do that, but I can do this. Glad I pushed that in there. There we go. Animation is great. Boop. I figured that's how a key card works, but okay. Thank you. You will assume nothing. There we go. Thank you. I'm in. In like Flynn. Ooh, what is this? Is that going to carry me through my wayward son? I guess we're going to soon find out. I, I can't go through there. I Maybe mean, I'll come back to that here in a little while. In the meantime, let's um, let's carry on for a bit. I know there's that place with the yellow key card up ahead, and I cannot go in the tall grass. I can go in the short grass, looks like. That's fine. Uh-oh. Hit select to retry. Okay. I want that sword. I want the sword. All right, let me go... Back. No. Okay. Hit select to retry. Yep. I don't know how to push that there. Let's see. Because I can't quite... Because I can't push that up, because then those two things are blocked at the same time. So maybe I... Is, can I go through here somewhere? I'm going to give you the option to come through here. But it doesn't look like there's a way through the, the blocks or anything. That looks interesting. I like what that looks like. Huh. I could push that up. It'll be too late, though. However, I can. Do you see it now? I can push something up. And then push it through and then push it down. Oh, I can't push it across. Come on. Why would I even think that? Because I need to push that there. I can't just come through because I need to push that over and down or something. Can I push this here? I can't go down. All right, we got this. Hold on now. So I want to push that up and then I can push it over. I guess I could push that up and push it over too. Because I can push it over then down and I can walk across it. And that's what I'm trying to figure out is how... I'm already stumped? No! I love puzzle games. I can't be stumped. You can't stump me. I'm the stumper. 
I'm the stumpiest. <laughs> it's all right. The good news, the good news is you have uh, unlimited retries. So if you don't get it right the first time, no worries. Oh, there it is. Hello. Good lord. I'm an idiot. Okay. We got this. I don't know what this thing does. Nothing yet, I guess. Can I do anything here? Nope. Okay. We got it. Good lord. All right. This looks. This is straight something straight out of Lolo there. So you got to push that there, push these there, push that here, and this here. Trust me, I've played the Adventures of Lolo. Now let me go back up. Let me go to. Um, let me not. I'm not going to do that yet. I was curious to see what that one thing was. It just looks weird. I can't go across that grass. I can push this in any direction. But I need to get through somehow. I can't go on the rocks. So I can push this down here. It's the only thing I can do. Which is probably going to help. Because I bet I can push... I can't. I can push that there. Because well, why else would it be there? I can push that there and that there. Oh, but because there's a place that I can go across. That's why it, it would be there. I'm not going to worry about that one over there. I'm going to worry about this one right here. Because I want to see... <laughs> so there's that. Here's this. We're getting there. Oh, but I have to make my way ac back across? I wasn't expecting this. Okay. New route. And here's this. That does nothing for me. I got another thing here. And this might not be something I can pass, but maybe I can d diminish. And I cannot cross this, but I can cross this. Can I go inside it? <laughs> Fun game. Inky and the Alien Aquarium. Link in the description if you want to grab yours. I like games that are like this, and I love the fact that people are still making games today uh, to work on these uh, classic consoles here. I like it so far. Um, yeah, it's giving me just enough of a of a hassle here, but especially with Game Boy Advance, I can play this on my um, I can play this on my analog pocket. So perfect for perfect for that thatness.